what is going on everybody is your boy phoenix king welcome back to my phoenix rising star challenge video this is the second episode playing through ranked battles if you guys seen the first episode we had two wins and one loss in that video so basically we're trying to make our way to master ball tier still in Pokeball tier rocking the same team as the first episode. If you haven't seen the first episode, be sure to check it out. Be sure to sub to, sub to the channel for more content like this. So we got our first trainer for the day. First trainer is Tim, rank five. Let's see what kind of team he's running so far. Okay, so he has the Pex, the new Fossil, the Water Ice, Haxorus, Clefable, Espeon, and Corviknight. I'm not sure why Pex is on a doubles team. It doesn't suit double standards. Maybe Regenerator to regenerate. But other than that, I don't see any other purpose. Um, I'm thinking I might see Excadrill. I'm not sure what to expect from this team. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really not sure. So I'll go with um, Corviknight, Scrafty. Um... Who else? Uh, maybe I'll bring Gastrodon um, and um, I'll put Dragapult in the back. I'm not sure. Maybe Excadrill. I'll take out Gastrodon, put Excadrill and Dragapult. I'm not sure. Um, I'll bring Dragapult. Actually, I'm thinking his Espeon might be there to set dual screens or something for all I know. Okay, so we start off with the Haxorus and the Corviknight Mold Breaker. Okay, mirror armor. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Mirror armor. There we go. There we go. That's good. I like to see that. Okay, so it's at minus one. Um, okay. Go for the fish. Yeah, let's go in stream into the Haxor slot. Is he gonna Dynamax? I'm assuming yes. Okay, so he switches out into Pex. Um, I mean, I don't. I'm still pondering why. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Why? 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 Anyway, let's just get this started. G Max Corviknight, I mean Dynamax Corviknight. <laughs> I'm bugging. Go for the fake outs and get the Max Airstream. So next turn, I'll switch back. I'll switch into Gastro just in case it scalds or anything and just thing. Let's see what he goes for. Body press. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's switch as a Gastrodon. We're going to get off another airstream, but I believe it's going to recover. Goes, oh, it goes for Baneful Banker, Bunker, or whatever. It's gonna go for what, another body press. I go for the airstream. Yeah, his defense is crazy. This OD high. Go, yep, another body press. Go 
for Earthquake and we'll go for Steel Spike. Damn, I feel like I wasted my Dynamax now. <laughs> well, well, what you gonna do? I don't see Toxapex fitting in doubles. This team just looks weird. Why why Toxapex? I don't know. Clefable. Ooh. Okay, I think I still spiked into the wrong one. Yup, I'm making this. Damn it. There we go, let's get our defense up so we can no longer body press. Yup, there we go. I'm gonna recover next turn to get back some health. I'm not sure if he's trying to stall. That's what I... Okay. I think I see where this team is going now. I think I, think I do. If he's trying to stall... Oh lord... I'm gonna go for Iron Head. Hope this is not no kind of stall team or anything. I'm trying to take advantage of the timer and all that mess. I should have still spiked into the cafe. Oh, protects. Damn. I feel like it's gonna be one of those battles, those long drawn out battles. You expect doubles to be fast and quick, but some just want to take advantage. Start tailing right here. It'll be crazy if Clefable gets access to Mystic Fire. Look, he's gonna switch into Pex. Look, see? Probably gonna Baneful Banker next turn if I go for an attack. Like. I'll just aim for thing. Let's see if I can get off a burn. No burn, damn. Cause if this, if this is the kind of game we're playing here, I don't want to play the, this kind of game. There we go. Oh, goes for Toxic. Okay, see, he's stolen. Here we go. We're trying to stall game now. So we out here stalling. Just when you couldn't expect this kind of BS and doubles. Okay, we got Clefable, so I'm assuming there's gonna be a double protect, so I'll recover. And I'm gonna go for Iron Head just in case, if anything. Because he got Haxorus in the bag, got these two bulky mons. Yep, one protect, and where's he go for a Venom Shot? Oh! Is he gonna go for Skull? Probably might go for Skull in the Corviknight slot. I'll probably do that to just to get off a of burn. Oh, he used Haze. Ain't that some shit? Oh, wow. Okay, so I'll double up into the Clefable slot now since Clefable is free. Yup. 50% chance to get double off a second time. At least 50% of the chance.
Oh, and that's a one hit KO. I mean, it did take some damage, but bye bye. Okay, so I have a feeling he's gonna Dynamax on the the hack service. So what I want to do is I'll protect and go for another tailwind. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna attack. Um, I want to set up another tailwind. Oh, it's going for Dragon Dance. Okay, I see what it's doing now. I see what it's doing now. Increasing the stats, then going for, you know. Ooh. Okay, Earth Power did a lot of damage. Now it goes for the Recover. <laughs> okay, okay. This battle is getting more fun. Okay, you know what? Okay, Gastrodon is low. Ooh, okay. I have Scrafty and Dragapult in the back. I'm gonna double up in the Haxor slot. Maybe I should have done that and then worry about Toxapex. He's gonna D-Max. Yep. If I play this right, I should. Damn, I should have. Yeah, I can't flinch, sadly. Nope. Max Whirlwind into the Gastrodon slot. Sadly, I did not survive. Oh, it drops the attack. Okay. This is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna get Scrafty out to decrease his attack. Okay, let's see. Um, about Tailwind. I got two turns left. So basically, it has speed. This attack is back to normal. I'll go for close combat. Yeah, it speed, speeds me by one stage. With that D dance. Okay. Go for Max Whirlwind on to. Okay, let's go for Iron Head. Still not enough to take it out. Max Darkness into the Corviknight. And I still survive. <laughs> Special Defense drop. Ooh, this battle's getting crazy. It's getting crazy, crazy, crazy. Yup, Corviknight. Wait. Yeah, scrap these out. Oh, wait. If I play this right, go for close combat and an iron head. So that way when I bring out Dragapult. Yes, I should do that. Person is going for the stolen game of Toxapex, and this battle has been going on for more than 10 minutes. That's disappointing. Max Guard, I can, I can deal with that. Gainful Banker, yeah, I should have went for the yeah, I should have switched out and switched back in and go for Tailwind. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, this match is ridiculous. Come on, what? Why Toxapex?
I'm not sure if I outspeed it. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Um, okay, this is gonna be a hard. This is a hard choice. Um, go for Iron Head. Okay, see, that's where he fucked up. He fucked up right here. Okay, I should have went for the tail one right here too. So this person is just gonna keep going, you see? This is why I frowned upon stall in this kind of meta game. Look at this. I can only use Dragon Pulse now. I am so fucked. Toxic. Okay, yeah, this person basically bank right here and then just basically stall out. So basically this is like a stall out match. I lost Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball and Gashiro would have been able to take it out. This is very disappointing. This is doubles. I forgot I have Brave Bird though, I didn't forget. <laughs> so this person was playing until the timer and really their their whole plan is <laughs> this is funny. And I win. And I end up winning. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. Come on. Played my share of stall matches. You can't outstall me. No, you can't. Let, let's look at this person's team. This is ridiculous. People people like this playing in doubles? No. No. Mm-mm. Look at this. Yeah, you running adamant. Yeah, that attack set is crazy. Oh, it, oh, this one can learn Vicious Ren too. Oh. But look at it. If it attacks before the target, its power is doubled. Mmm. Yeah. L look at this set. Cancerous. So for this episode, there's going to be only two battles. Only two. Only two battles. So we got Adam rank five. 
Let's see if we can hit up rank six. Okay, we got a follow me core. I'm assuming Toby case. We got Dragapult, Arcanine, Dracovish, Whimsicott, and the Rotom Mo. So of course I'm going to go one and two. For Arcanine, let's see. Okay, so I want Excadrill and I'll have Dragapult. Mm, that should be good. Okay, so we're gonna go for the fake outs and I'm gonna Dynamax and go for the... I'm gonna go for the Max Steel Spike into the Whimsicott slot. Or I should've went for the... No, forget it. Doesn't matter. ourselves a sash okay so let's see so I might go for moon blast or something I don't know who does he have who does he have in the back Okay, so I might want to save Scrafty for later, so I'll bring out Excadrill and go for an Airstream onto Rotom. Look at that big lawnmower. Come on, look at that. Look at that lawnmower right there. I'm gonna lower down the volume a bit. And then that, this is what you call a good switch in. Go for the airstream. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's some decent damage, to say the least. Oh, one for Max Lightning. Ooh. Does more than half. Ooh, that's nasty. Damn. Okay, so I'm a Max Guard and go for a Rock Slide this turn. That shit did a heap of damage. Oh, we both went for Max Guard. Interesting. Oh, that's a nice play. That was a nice play. 
But his Whimsicott didn't really get to do anything. That's the downside. And my Dynamax is over. Okay, so we got the Draco Fish and the Rotom out. So I'll switch back into Scrafty. I want to protect, but also I want to set up Tailwind. I'm gonna set up Tailwind. I'll we'll have my mods as fast as possible. <laughs> Yup, I have speed and it's gonna go for the max lightning. Okay, so this means I can go for the intimidate and yeah, I'm gonna switch it to Dragapult. Drag you poke. Get Dragapult cheesing. Okay, so I know Rotom has access to Ally Switch. That this is supposed to be a problem. And the fake outs, and I want to Dragon Pulse. No, no, no. Actually, I want to fake out and Dragon Pulse. Because I outspeed it, so it really cannot speed me now. Dracovich is probably scarfed or banded, so can't do much on that front. I just want to take out Dracovich as fast as possible. Let's go for Dragon Pulse. And that's all she wrote. Goes for the Dark Pulse. Okay. It's a big man. It's a big man right here. Okay, question is who's left? I want to use these turns wisely. Okay, he has his Dragapult here now. Okay, let's go for punch. I think I'm gonna switch mines out. Wait, how many turns of trickling do I have? Oh, Tailwind, I got two more turns of Tailwind. Let's go for the crunch and go for Dragon Pulse. Huh. Yup, Tailwind is really helping. It's a good thing I did set it. Go for the crunch. Basically, Rotom is left, so I have Excadrill in the back. Did his job. Did his job. Go for crunch and poison jab. Basically, this match is over. All right, and that is our second battle. This time, we came out with two straight wins. Alright, so I'll end the episode right here for now. I will cut this episode a bit short due to that first stalling match we have. So once this video is uploaded, it won't be that long. I'll just cut out some parts from the stalling match. It shouldn't be too long. But I hope you guys are enjoying the video battle videos that you've seen so far. Subscribe to stay tuned and I hope to see you guys next time. Alright, peace.